Greetings, this is DT with Interactive Homeschooling, and I've had a lot of questions regarding creating notebooking pages, so I wanted to really quickly show you guys how you can actually create custom notebooking pages for your children. Um, it is definitely something that I would not be afraid to start trying. It is very simple, and I hope this will help you to start doing that. Um, so the, po the program that I like to use is PowerPoint. Um, it's just my preference. There are other programs that you can use. Um, this is the one that I prefer. And to make a basic um, notebooking page, what I would do is, number one, I want to have a blank page and I want to resize this um, to the size of our notebook paper. So we're going to go to the layout of the slide and we're going to make it blank. From there, we're going to go to the design tab up here and we're going to go over to slide size because we want to customize this. We want this to be, we're going to make this portrait layout and we want it to be the same size as our normal paper. So it's going to be 8.5 um, 8 by 11. So we're going to go ahead and change that. And we're going to save it. I use I maximize it because I want everything to print all the way out into my my borders okay all right now creating these pages you can you can use any of the borders or things that they may have built into PowerPoint if you choose I personally prefer to use um, borders that I've either purchased or I have um, found for free online and if you do find them or th even if you purchase them if you're using these for personal use it's not it's not a big deal um, however if you sell on teachers pay teachers which I do sell products on teachers pay teachers you need to be very clear that you um, or um, make sure that you find the borders or any type of embellishments that are going to be for commercial use be sure that it says that these can be used for commercial use all right, so I have some files already saved. So I'm going to go down here to, I'm going to click the format background, and I'm going to come down to pictures and texture fill. Um, because I already have something that I want to use, we're going to go down here to the file button, and let's find those. So I have them saved under free commercial use digital paper. So we'll go there. Um, the one I want to use, big dots. All right, so there's a couple of different things. They have some of the paper, digital paper, which I use a lot for different things. But just for this particular topic, I'm going to use a border. All right, so that's going to give me the border that I want. Now, if you're going to make a product and you want this same border to apply um, to all of the pages, you'll just simply come over here where it's underneath the formatting and make sure that it applies to all of your pages. All right, so I want to, let's say I want to make, my children are working on sales, so I'm not using this. We're just going to do this for an example. So if I want to make something on sales, let's say I want this slide to be about prokaryotic cells. So I'm going to go ahead and type in my title. You can pick whatever font you want to use. Let me just grab, I like Broadway. And prokaryotic cells. All right. All right. So from there, I want to insert a picture. I want to put a diagram or something. So you can have photos or pictures or things that you already have saved. Um, and if you have those, you can insert those pictures there. If not, um, again, this, because this is not for sale, I'm just showing you how to do it. So we'll go to insert. We want to insert a picture that is found online. If I were selling this, I would not use this. I would use clip art that I purchased or clip art that was free for commercial use. So let's see, type in what we're looking for. And it'll give us some options. So here's one. We're going to click on what we want to use and insert it. From there, you've got a nice little diagram. So if you want this to be a notebooking page, you can put your diagram there and then you need to add a spot for them to actually type the notes. So 
What I typically do is go to enter a text box again. And if you're just doing this for older children, nothing special. You're just going to insert um, some lines. So I just add lines until I get to the end. If you wanted to add several different items on here, you can definitely do that. Make this as full, as pretty as you want. All right, so I'm done here, but I want to make the same page another slide, and I want to make this for a child that uh, maybe uses primary lines. So what I would do is I want to copy these two items. So I'm just going to highlight these, select these, and I'm going to shift and select both of these, and I'm going to make a copy. Go to the new slide and go ahead and insert that there. So now I have this here and I can make the exact same replica of the product that, of the page that I made earlier, but I'm going to make this one for a, a younger child because they use different types of lines. So we're going to insert another text box um, and we're going to alternate between solid lines and dotted lines. So first row is a solid line. And I'm just using the dash key the first for the first row, the solid row, you just hold it continuously. And oops. And then for the rest, you just hold it down and make a solid row. And for the primary lines, remember you always have that solid two lines in between to separate them. So just space and dash, space and space and dash. And that's basically how you would create it. If I wanted to do this, I would just fill this entire thing in. Um, but just for the sake of time, I'm going to stop. Um, and if I wanted to do um, other things, you just continue, add the new slides, and then you can create all of these different things. So basically, creating the notebooking pages, honestly, it is not that time consuming of a thing. Um, it is the research behind it that is. Now, if you want to use whatever it is that you create, let's delete these. Um, if you want to do notebooking on the computer, sometimes the kids can, I can print these if I want to and let them write directly on these into their notebooks. If you want your children to type um, these up, you can definitely use um, my old, my children use them on their iPads. So I can send or e email my children the file and they would use it. The program that we use on their iPad is going to be um, PDF. PDF expert. Um, and so they use that one on their iPad and they can go in and modify these files. They can type directly onto the files and then we can either print them for a notebook or we can save them digitally um, and send them directly to their um, their file sharing sites that we use. Um, and that's really good, especially if you're having to do any type of um, portfolios. The person that we use to do our evaluations each year, she gets the digital portfolios. So doing things like this makes it convenient, but it's completely up to you. You can print them. You can type directly on these using one of the one of the apps or software. Um, but again, creating these is very simple and I hope that helps. So if you have any questions, just type them into the comment box or let me know on Facebook and I'll answer whatever questions you have. Peace.